we're going to unbox something that's not witchy and not stones. Something that's books. <laughs> I'm a total bookworm, book nerd, whatever you want to call it. And this is one of the coolest subscriptions for books that I have like ever seen. It is from Blue Spider's Attic. Uh, let's see. No frills, no fuss, just books, coffee, and tea. Okay, right there's your hook. Books, coffee, and tea. I mean, three things that I need in my life. Legitimate frigging need. Okay, so in each of these, you'll find two secondhand books chosen based on your preferences, one sample of delicious coffee, and one sampling of a hot tea. Enjoy! And this is, again, Blue Spiders Attic. Blue Spiders, yeah. I was, all of a sudden I saw, like, there wasn't an S. There's an S! I'm just really, really super excited to get into these. They give you an assortment of genres to pick from. That's how you do your subscription. It is only $13.99 a month, which is ridiculous for two. Uh, granted, they're used books, but I don't care. <laughs> so for two books, some coffee and some tea, $13.99 is perfect. It'd be like going to a Barnes and Noble, Noble or a Hastings or all those bookstores that used to and some that still do exist. Anyway, and we also have all of our little social media contact on there. Thank you, Candace and Jeremy, the used bookstore in a bag experience. I can tell you I'm going to love it. I already freaking do. So thank you, curators of the Blue Spiders Attic packages. Okay, I picked, I believe, um, one of these should be horror and one of these should be fantasy. I had to pick two genres because I really read several. And I thought, let's just see what they would give me in each one. And they're totally random. So this is just ridiculously exciting. Oh, I would just live there. <laughs> okay. I love the old newspaper wrapping. I took them out of the big envelope they came in, the shipping envelope, because it wasn't as exciting. And we've got curly whirlies. And, oh my goodness. Oh, ooh, that is more than one sampling of tea. That is three teas. Thank you, Twinings. Irish breakfast. Ooh, I have two whole boxes of this right now because I love black tea and I'm Irish. I mean, come on. Uh, herbal tea berry infusion. Yum. And Prince of Wales black tea. I don't think I've ever had Prince of Wales. If I have, I completely forgot. Okay. Well, doesn't I usually like teas that like tell you what notes are in it from what herbs. It's That's just nice, but I don't care. I'm going to drink it. It's tea. I just can't have cinnamon in my teas because I'm allergic to cinnamon. If I, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't always stop me though. Um, Benadryl is my friend in that case. <laughs> Feed me, see more. Feed me. That's super cute. It literally is just a blank postcard card. I love it. <laughs> I freaking love it. It needs to go like in a garden area. And whoa, eventually I'll get it right. Still thirsty? Check, check us out, Day Dripper. I'm assuming this is just your. You know, run-of-the-mill possible French roast. We honestly don't know. But, you know, it's coffee. I'll drink it. Add a little sugar and a little cream. Oh, okay, this is awesome. I actually played a Snow White villain in a school play. Um, oh, my God. Like, I can't even tell you how many years ago. And by a Snow White villain, I mean the story was switched. So, And it was all different, you know, Disney princesses. Um, and the villains. The villains were the good guys, and <laughs> the princesses were the antagonists, and I was a, an evil Snow White. It was awesome. So here we have Six Gun Snow White by Catherine M. Valentin. Valentine? Valentine? Wait, no, that's not wrong. Valente. Good lord. It's bedtime. Forget the dark enchanted forest. Oh, Old West Snow White. This is going to be cool. Talks about the crow people, so we've got some natives in there. Ooh. I'm excited for this one. I'll read them all. Cold Iron. The Malorum Gates. I've heard of this. By Stina Late. Okay, so this is the fantasy. And, uh, 
I don't think I picked science fiction, but this is the fantasy box, obviously, because neither seem too, too much like horror. Okay, plots, assassinations. I'm just reading the gist. I'm holding it, so hopefully you guys can see it too. I don't see much of a glare or issues focusing from my end. Interesting. I will have to pass these on to my boyfriend too. Okay. I love, I'm very tactile. I love books. I love to smell books. I love to feel the pages and the different prints. The cut of this book is very rough. So it's super textured and like ribbed. It's like Ruffles have ridges type. Oh, I like that. And this one's just very smooth, very... Very nice and pressed. God, this feels like an a ASMR video. <laughs> Which is not, I swear, I swear. Okay, let's see what kind of goodies they gave us in the horror genre. Subscription. Oh, all the lovely things. Hey, there's paper in here. Oh, we missed some stuff in the last box. All right, let me make sure it's not in that bag. Okay. In the last box, we totally missed these. We have a bookmark. <laughs> Thank you, Oscar Wilde. The magic of a used bookstore delivered. I could live in used bookstores. I'd never, ever, 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 ever want to leave. And find us locally for book lovers and coffee lovers. My life. Oh, it's a sticker. Oh, I have such a sticker fascination. I love stickers. I've always loved stickers since I was a kid. I had a sticker book. I still have sticker books. I'm going to cry. Not really, but oh, a, a sticker about books. I mean, huh, and coffee and some more. Okay, so same tea or same coffee, tea, coffee, you know, I'm going to drink it. So I think I'm sure it's the same. There's no markings on the packages. So, oh man, I mentioned cinnamon and here's an orange and cinnamon spice. I want it. My boyfriend will steal it though. He um steals every tea that I wind up collecting that has cinnamon in it because he's terrified I'm going to drink it. It's like I don't I'm not that allergic to it. Um so yes, this one. I love that all their choices are twinings. So there's one that I won't be drinking, but we've got another, these were the last three, but we've got another Prince of Wales and a Jasmine. Oh my God, it's an Earl Grey Jasmine. <sighs> All right, I'm going home. I have Irish breakfast. I have Prince of Wales to try and I have Earl Grey, which is my favorite tea in the world. And it's a Jasmine tea, which is one of my favorite scents. Like, I don't ever want to drink this lovely bag of tea. I want to just cherish it forever. <laughs> Because once I drink it, I can maybe get two cups and then it's going to be sad, sad day. Oh my god. No, oh, okay. Let's... Huh. I don't want to move on, but let's move on. There's all my teas and my sticker. Oh, hell yes. Oh, there's some more. Oh, same. We said got the same feed me card. I'm not surprised because I bought these at the same time. And same Oscar Wilde quote. Yeah, was it the same on the back? Yes. No. Oh, yes, it was. Okay, same on the back. I was looking at the other side. And a sticker again. Good. I have two. I can put them in two different spots. And I swear I did not mean to just throw that. That's rude. We have <laughs> Stephen King's Dreamcatcher. I do believe I have a hardback copy of Dreamcatcher, but I'm totally okay with having duplicate books. I am a firm believer that you don't throw away books. If you have books that you don't want to read, sell them, give them to friends, or sell them to friends. Books just should never, ever be thrown away. That's just super sad. I mean, unless they got be com completely mangled and torn apart and and stuff, then I guess, but that's still, that's still sad. You shouldn't let your books get to that stage. Um... And we do have ideas for a house, like we want like a little library set up, even if we can't have a room dedicated just to be a library. And any duplicate books, I think we'll put like in another section, like another little play area, den type thing where it's like, oh, here's our paperbacks of a certain series. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Um, but definitely don't mind duplicate books, especially when they're from an author like Stephen freaking King. Holy fuckballs. <laughs> Where there's war, there's utter destruction. 
<laughs> World War Moo by Michael Logan, an apocalypse cow novel. Oh my god, this sounds hilarious. Um, I have a dear friend, my friend Sasha, my nerdy, who loves cows. Um, I don't know if she would like this or not, but I'm definitely going to have to read it. Oh, zombie cows. <laughs> zombie cows. <laughs> this is so fucking awesome. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Apocalypse cow. Okay, Christopher Moore. I love him. Terry Pratchett. Love him. They've got Publishers Weekly. Book list of bloody disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm covering my mouth. I don't mean to. And he's a Scottish journalist. Oh, okay. I dig this guy. <laughs> that is going to be super fun to read. Uh, I'll get on that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can put the bigger books down here. We have some Cold Iron. We have World War Moo. <laughs> we have Six Gun Snow White. <laughs> And Stephen King's Dream Catcher. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, oh my god, that's just so goddamn funny. World War Moo. Oh, thank you, Michael Logan. <laughs> I haven't even read your book, but thank you. All right. Let me kind of pull everything out here and... Uh, not put my arm in the frame. Here's just a shot of my arm because I'm so busy laughing. Uh, let's see if I can lift you up. Whoa. Sorry. This is when the really shitty camera work comes into play. Okay. I have so much stuff in front of me and the boxes that I use to hold my tripod. All right. I'm just going to kind of leave this a bit of a mess. We have our teas over there. We have our welcome letter. We have our coffees. We have, that box doesn't matter, Six Gun Snow White and Cold Iron from the Fantasy Box. Our little feed me, see them all. Postcards. World War Moo, <laughs> which I'm so looking forward to reading. And Stephen King's Dream Catcher from the Horror um, Package. Stickers and bookmarks. Again, you guys, this is... Oh my God damn it. Okay, I'll get control of myself, I swear to God. Um, this is Blue Spider's Attic um, book subscriptions. They're only $13.99 a month. You get two used books in the genre of your choice. You get some tea and you get some coffee and that makes for a damn good time to curl up and read a book or five or 12 and drink some tea and drink some coffee. That's, I wish that could be my days every day, <laughs> all day. But unfortunately it's not. I have to adult. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out and checking out the video. I hope you have a good night, day, morning, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And I will catch you on my next one. Love ya. Bye.